everybody and welcome to a new video. Today, I want to talk about everything I own related to Batman regarding movies. It's a ton. I, I was organizing my shelving and I realized how much Batman stuff, Batman related stuff I own. So <clears throat> these are little uh, bobbleheads from Cinepolis here in Mexico. And these are in regards to the 80th anniversary of Batman, 80 years of Batman. So we have these two little guys, but that's that's about the non Blu-ray movie related stuff that I own. So let's get to it. So the first off I have, as you can see in the front, we have the HD Zeta one clicks. <clears throat> and they're not in order because I took them from up there and I just put them. So we got Dark Knight Rises. Put that one there. That's the one click. I do have unboxing videos of these. So if you want to check them out. The Dark Knight. Um, that's the one click. With the cool Joker. One of the best Jokers in my opinion. And Batman Begins. So that's from HD Zeta. That's the one clicks. And... With that comes what they are inside. So we have these from HD Zeta. This is like the single lenticular for the Dark Knight Rises. The double lenticular for the Dark Knight Rises. And these are steel books. So you can see right there, I do have unboxing of these. All right, so now the Dark Knight. This is one of the coolest uh, lenticulars that I own, I think, in my opinion, and how it looks. So hopefully it, it picks it up in the camera, which is cool. Very good job on, on the lenticular from HD Zeta. This is the single lenticular for the Dark Knight. All right, hopefully nothing falls over. Batman Begins from HD Zeta. This is also the steel book, which is really cool. And the double lenticular with a protective sleeve. These were bought from MediaCycles.com, so if you want to give them a, uh, a look, try them out. That's where I buy all my blue buys, so that's where I got these guys from. Next off is the animated series. So we have Batman Beyond with the Funko, which is... A, a full-size Funko, pretty cool. Very cool uh, animated series. I really enjoyed this one when I was growing up. And <clears throat> on the opposite side, we have Batman animated series with uh, Mark Hamill as the Joker. And this introduced a lot of characters. And I believe this introduced Harley Quinn. And it touched a lot of the other characters a lot of the other villains very cool very cool animated series <clears throat> maybe you want to give it a look absolutely recommend that one so now let's go on to this side let me get this out of the way a little bit reorganize it because it's a ton all right so we have the animated animated movies from dc and it there's a lot of batman related stuff we have Justice League, The New Frontier. Uh, not the Green Lanterns. I don't think Batman comes out. The Green Lanterns, they just snuck in. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns. Batman, Gotham Knight. <clears throat> Batman Assault on Arkham. And we have some Steelbooks. Uh, we have Justice League versus Teen Titans, which does bring Batman in there. Batman, The Killing Joke. Cool steel book. Put that here. Batman Ninja, which I really enjoy the artwork on that. Son of Batman. Batman and Harley Quinn. Batman versus Harley Quinn. No, no, Batman and Harley Quinn. Very cool steel book. Another Justice League versus Teen Titans. I don't know why I have to, but I have to. Batman Bled Bad Blood. Justice League. Throne of Atlantis, which does bring Batman in there. Uh, Justice League Dark, which is pretty much just Batman from the 
original Justice League. Batman versus Robin. Justice League Gods and Monsters. Justice League New Frontier. And Justice League the actual movie. It's in steelbook format. It looks kind of like a comic book artwork. But this is the actual movie. Justice League movie. All right, passing that to the side. Then we have movies. So we have Batman v Superman. Obviously, Batman's in there. And then we have the Christopher Nolan trilogy, The Dark Knight Rises, which they're right here. The Dark Knight. And Batman Begins, which is one of my first Blu-ray movies that when I started collecting. Now we also have this four film favorite, which is the original four. Um, I don't have anything prior to this, which I know there is the Batman series, which I do not own on Blu-ray. And all the prior movies from this era. So I do not own those. And then we have the four movie 4K Steelbook from Best Buy, which is a very nice, very, very nice set. I love the matte finish, all this. Um, if you want to check it out, check out my videos. I do have an unboxing of these. Which is just beautiful. Each has a different color. Each has the interior artwork of each different Batmobile from the movie. So that's pretty cool. Now, coming up to the next part is one of my favorite formats for these movies. And it's the uh, graphic novel Blu-ray combination. So as you can see here, this is Batman Under the Red Hood, and it has the movie. So it's a graphic novel with the movie inside. Very cool combo, very cool idea. Uh, they didn't come up with a lot of these. The only other two that I have there uh, are not Batman related, is Wonder Woman and The Death of Superman. So this is Under the Red Hood. Batman Year One, as you can see, we have the Blu-ray and an actual graphic novel. So the pages are different, quantity, the thickness is different, so it's not like we have to make it X. Batman Black and White, so you can see that, and the movie. Uh, Batman. <clears throat> Public Enemies, Batman like versus Superman, Public Enemies. And the movie is called Superman, Batman, Public Enemies. Very cool, very cool. Good quality too, I can, I can guarantee that. Uh, Justice League America Earth 2. There it is, that's the cover. And this is Crisis on Two Earths, the movie, that's what it's called. Justice League is from Jeff Johns. Uh, what is this one? War, I think. Uh, this is Throne, Throne of Atlantis. Yes. Justice League Throne of Atlantis. Very cool. So we have the DVD and the Blu ray there. And last but not least, we have Justice League Volume 1 Origin. And then we have Justice League War. This is Jeff Jones and Jim Lee. So that's that's absolutely cool. All right, guys, that is it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment on which one was your favorite out of all of these. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the Patreon. You can support the channel with as little as a dollar a month. Well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.